I'm back. <laughs> I told you, when you play big games, there's a tendency, especially when you lose them, to want to let off. To lose some momentum. To not play at the top of our game. Not only play at the top of our game, we play at the bottom of our game. Did we even have a real game? Because when I look at time of possession, and it's almost two to one, I mean, when we talk about ball control and, you know, snapping the ball at a certain time and, you know, running the ball, that's all about time of possession. When you get into a one dimensional game where you got to throw the ball because, you only can run for 136 total yards. It's tough to control a game. And then you end up putting your defense out on the field. So we thought. So we thought that the defense was out on the field. They were out on the field a long time, but not for total plays because Minnesota had 68 total plays. We had 64. Minnesota averaged 5.8 yards a play. We averaged 5.9. Here's the key stat. That's Kind of crazy. We got two picks out of those black shirt defensive backs. And we still lost the game. Three times in the red zone, came away with no points. Listen, you can't blame Yant. If, if, if Yant didn't start the game, we didn't run downhill. That was a cross member block at the end of the day. Do I blame Yant for tripping? Eh. Ah. Ah, he threw they threw him into the fire after they needed him most, after they were down, when they should have came out with him in the beginning. And if you're gonna run three plays on the goal line, I remember we ran some first down. I, I don't know what those plays were, but why wouldn't we just give the ball to Yant? Martinez tried it a couple times. Just give it to Yant. Just give it to the big fella three times and see what we get. Guess what? After that, I don't care how many field goals he misses. Put his ass in the game and make him kick the dead gun chip shot. Take the points. Did it against Michigan. Take the points. Take the points. Then to add insult to injury offense, we're in our own end zone, basically, 30 yard line, uh, and we pass the ball. Oh, there's no reason to pass the ball in that situation. None. Run it out of there. Get a couple plays where you get some room for your quarterback and then pass the ball. Babe, listen, I got on Superman shirt because that's who we need to save the season right now. We need Superman. We need Superman. Somehow, some way to come save the day. I'm your host, three-time national champ Rashawn Jackson. This is Straight From The Hip, and uh, we just want to welcome you to a Minnesota holy shit moment where I'm just thinking to myself, what just happened? You know what happened? Lack of focus happened. You know what happened? Lack of passion. Let me go through my seven keys to victory of last week. Play with passion. Number two, win the turnover game. We won that. Number three, option, option, option. We didn't run the option to the second half. Run, run, run. We did not put Yane in early and run the game. Number four, black shirts have to dominate. Listen, the black shirts got gutted. We tried to get away from the run. We got away from the uh, 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 Minnesota got away from the run when they probably didn't have to because, believe me, they were gutting us. I mean... You got Bryce Williams, 17 carries, and we're talking the third and fourth running backs, folks. 17 carries for 127 yards, average 7.5, as long as it was 56 yards in the touchdown. The next man, Marquise Irvin, 7 for 28. Kai Thomas, 7 for 23. Everybody said we got we got picks. We were, you're right, we did get picks, but we also gave up three touchdowns as well. So those nullified the picks, and actually we're down a touchdown because we got two picks, but we gave up three touchdowns. We gave up 103 yards to one man who averaged 9.4 yards a carry. I mean, a catch. 
Black shirts had to dominate. They didn't do it. We missed way too many tackles. We're tackling high. We're arm tackling. We're not playing disciplined football. Running backs are running as high as I've ever seen a running back run. I'm talking about with his chest in the air like a like a like a rooster clucking. You got to get your dog on feet, your 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 weight over your pad level, and get your dog on weight and your pad level down, son. That's why you got smacked, Johnson, because you're too high. You're in traffic. Against those big boys, you got your body length has to be the other way. That's all the ball carries. You're all going into it high, yank included. I said Amar has to bring the whole store. Ha. Ah. Make great decisions. Ha. Ah. We've seen a couple of bonehead decisions. We've seen a, a quarterback who got flustered on the road besides the last drive in the fourth quarter and forgot that he had four of the receivers. We can't lock on to one. We got to go through our progression. One, the two, the three. And wait, what's with the defense looking over to the sideline? What in the world are we doing there? I get it, but. They should be disciplined enough to know what their assignments are. Okay? Number six. I said fans had to be the 12th man against Michigan. We don't have a 12th man, so I said special teams. We got nothing in the special teams game. It was, I mean, we got nothing. Matter of fact, we got no returns, I don't believe. Maybe we got one return. I think we got one return in the, uh, in the punt game. Oliver got one run return for six yards. That's not going to get it done, ladies and gentlemen. And then number seven, I said, yank, yank, yank. I didn't say yank, yank, yank because you want to run a cross buck with him. I said yank, yank, and put him in after he's been sitting on the pine for, uh, I don't know, an hour. I said yank, yank, yank because if we had put him in early and just run him downhill to soften up the defense. Just running downhill. No gimmicks. Nothing. Downhill. And if the big fella can get his pad level down, I think it would have been a different football game. Again, folks, we gave that game away. We gave it away. So I'm giving the entire team an F. I don't care. There's no players game in this in this deal. There's no uh 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 um what are you consolation prize. This is major college football. And we're making major Major mistakes in the worst way across the board and as a football team. You win as a team, you lose as a team. Period. TyroneBird.com. Go to TyroneBird.com right now. Tyrone Bird. Bird spelled with the Y. B Y R D. Dot com. TyroneBird.com for all your insurance needs, whether that's personal insurance, life insurance, business insurance, whatever insurance you need, he is available in the three different locations. Arizona. So all my Arizona Husker fans, get to the website. Colorado. All my Coloradoans for Nebraskans, get to the website. And last but not least, Nebraska. Get to the website. He can give you great black shirt coverage that you definitely desperately need in your insurance needs, especially in this climate. But I'm wearing the Superman shirt because we need Superman right now to help us. Because we got a bye week, and two weeks is a long time to think about that loss. You can a lot of things can happen. Either you get better by practicing hard, or you get worse because you bask in your own pitifulness. Did I make that word up? Yeah. But anyway, this three-timer, national champ, Vershawn Jackson, swinging, as always, it's, 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 it's Bud, uh, Crawford, uh, 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 straight from the hip. And remember, go be red. Go be red. Holla at your boy, dog.